Hey everybody, welcome to Ram TV. Welcome back to my LB The Show 19 New York Mets franchise. This is episode 42 here for this Friday, August 30th game against the Phillies. We got two games left and uh, we got, I mean, we got two games left in August and then we're in the final stretch of the season, the final month. So without further ado, let's do some quick managing and hopefully we can win and uh, Take the series from the Phillies. Dude, we got Michael Walker on the mound against Jake Arrieta. Things are a little tired for the Mets considering the game that they had last time. Um, I forgot McNeil was hurt actually. Um, bu -bu 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 UNS, let's put in Garis. And then we will switch off here. This is not what I need. There you go. All right. Nah. All right. There you go. Double by Darno. Yet with a double? Come on, Waka. Come on. Really? That is just frustrating. Lost three to one. Next game. Oh boy. Finally, not injured anymore. I can take care of things. Move them around. Move them around. Good. Get, get, get out of here. There you go. Let's get some base hits, guys. With the mats. There you go. There you go. Suicide squeeze. There you go. That's what I like. The 3 1. One out. Let's go, Alonzo. I'll take it. Come on, Conforto. Ah. Uh. Neil? Couldn't. Come on. Come on. You've got to be kidding, man. Favorite. There you go, McNeil. Thank you. Guy three for four. On. Are you kidding? Come on, man. Straight right now. 
whatever McNeil does, he gets on base. No one else is doing anything, man. Look at that. <laughs> we lost five to four. Again, we have to avoid a sweep. You guys have got to be kidding me. Look at this, we... This is so frustrating, dude. Back to back series, we're down to... We're down to a red, avoiding a sweep. We're gonna be going into Washington, man. Come on. Can't be doing that. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at the standings right before we start the game. We are three games up on the Nationals. Luckily, they just lost. And the Phillies obviously just won three in a row, being it's two in a row. So six games back. <sighs> Not cool, guys. Not freaking cool. Kind of disappointed in how things are going for for right now. We are not playing as well as we should be. Look at this. It has not been a friendly August. It was not a friendly July. See. Actually, no, July will actually end July on a good note. Uh, let's see. We, I don't know. But we don't, the only good thing we did was we swept. We had a four game winning streak in Atlanta and Kansas City. Uh, we swept Miami. We did beat Washington that one series. Man, we need to get this win against the Phillies. It's going to be Jacob DeGrom versus Jared Eikhoff, 13-10 versus 14-7. Uh, our offense has not been as good as it should be. I might have to move people around only because it's not pretty, dude. It is not pretty. Um, not sure if I should send the cars back down or whatever because he has not been playing as well. Back to 12. Um, we have to take care and see how, uh, is that, how, let's see, who else is playing pretty well here, Carlos Gomez, how is he doing, 242, 7 home runs, uh, I might call him back up. Here, I don't know if I really want to keep Rosario in there. He's not bad. I'm gonna send that at Maria. Not playing too well either. So I might start using Carlos Gomez at center field if I have to. Mostly it's gonna be them if it's a righty. So anyway, I will see you guys in Philly for this avoiding the sweep back-to-back -back episodes. I see you guys there. Daytime baseball from the home of the Bills since 2004, Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. The calendar has turned to September and we're ready for baseball between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. The Phils look for the series sweep at home against their division rivals. First pitch is next. Hey, from a hitter's perspective, one and two to Segura. Take right there. I know it's in the zone. Down with a two seam. Out number one. Here in the first inning. Let's take a look at the Phillies lineups. For today's game. So we got Gene Segura, followed by Cesar Hernandez, Bryce Harper, Riz Hoskins, JT Real Muto, Nick Williams, Mikael Franco, Andrew McCutcheon, and Gerard Eikhoff in the ninth spot. Three and two to Hernandez. One of the better hitters in the game this Another strikeout, back-to-back -back strikeouts. The in the first. Got him. She set the payoff pitch. Got him. Ooh, they got Hoskins with a high changeup, actually. I missed time, but that is three strikeouts for Jacob DeGrom. That's Mike Conforto for the, for the Mets with his first hit of the game. That puts him out. No outs here in the second. That is Ioannis hitting it to deep left field. This could be a foul ball. And it's... I'm not sure. A home run! 
That is a home run wrapping around the foul pole. That is Jonas Cespedes' 30th home run. Go home, going 472 feet. The Mets are up 2-0 here in the second inning. I thought I was a bit a little too early in that swing, but I guess the velocity and the angle made everything wrap around the foul pole. I thought it was a home run because I saw the ball disappear behind the foul pole, and it did. Bomb by Cespedes. And run play. Oh, it makes the catch. Oh boy, that's gonna be doubled up. Oh wait, no. Bad throw caused Rosario to be safe at first base, but what a play by Williams. And run. Rosario's gonna round to third base, and he's gonna be safe. That is a base hit by Jacob DeGrom with a hit and run on. He was able to make it third base. That's a good hitting by Jacob, actually. Arturo Muto. Got with a slider. There is four strikeouts for Jacob DeGrom. One, two, two Williams. Another strikeout. That is a curveball. Three to the Franco, right, 255. It's the Got him with a fastball. That is six outs for Jacob DeGrom and six strikeouts, striking out the side. Dejah uh, Lowry hitting it to right field, and it's off the wall. Could have been a home run. It was a second. He's going to be safe at second. Dejah Lowry with his 31st double of the year. That is a lead-off double. I thought he had just enough to make a home run, but hit the top of the fence. It's a deep. Oh, come on, keep going, Lowry. All right, it's going to be at least a RBI double for Pete Alonso. I don't know what Lowry is looking at, but he did not read that well. But it's going to be 3-0 Mets with back-to-back -back doubles with no outs. Pete Alonso with his 21st double of the year. That's going to be at least a sacrifice. Oh, he doesn't make it. Uh, but it's going to be an RBI, two RBIs for Wilson Ramos here in the third inning. It's going to be 5 nothing Mets. I thought the center field was going to catch that, so I did not play aggressive with the base paths. I guess a bad jump by McCutcheon, unable to recover. And that is two RBIs for Ramos. This is going to be at least a sacrifice. Oh, and he makes a catch. What a catch by McCutcheon. And redeems himself. That's not number one. But that is a sacrifice by Mendozario. Ooh, throws him with a fastball. And that is another strikeout. Number seven for Jacob DeGrom. Another strikeout, number eight. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's another strikeout for Jacob DeGrom. I believe that is number nine. And it's only the fourth inning. That's a home run, it looks like. From Conforto's reaction, it is out of here. An opposite field home run. So Michael Conforto, that is number 36. Oh my goodness, and he is just tearing the ball apart this season. Wow. I was actually unsure if that was going to be a home run, but 
You know how small Citizens Bank is. Hey, listen, there's an just carry. To to Kingery. Struck him out. That is strikeout number ten for Jacob Degrom. And that is a strikeout on Bryce Harper. Got him for Rosen. As number eleven for Jacob Degrom. As we end the fifth inning. Neil in the opposite direction, and it's out of here. That is a solo shot for Jeff McNeil. Make it eight nothing here in the sixth inning, going opposite field. That's number ten. A solo shot here to left. Wow, another opposite field home run for the Mets. As we continue to destroy the Phillies and avoid that sweep. Two and two, Romuto. In the dirt, but Swing and a miss. Ramos has got it. He makes the throw to Number 13 for Jacob DeGrom. Out, Two and two to Williams. Another strikeout. Number 14. Oh my gosh. And he can do no wrong today. Two and two to Hernandez. Oh boy. Oh, I thought he caught it. This is going to be a triple. Maybe an inside the park for Hernandez. It is. Inside the park for Cesar Hernandez because he is so fast. And I think I just missed time that. I think I could have caught it. Let me take a look at a replay here. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. Barehanded play. He got him. Good play. I believe that is Lowry. With a fantastic finish. Two and two to Franco. And the ball game's over. He struck him out looking. And what a dominant performance by Jacob the Grom. Oh my goodness. And the Mets win 8 to 1. So that line for Jacob DeGrom, nine innings pitch, complete game, three hits, 18 strikeouts. One on one, dollars that inside the park, whatever, it's fine. Four walks. In terms of the offense, we had Mike Conforto hitting a solo. USS was hitting a two run bomb. Pete Alonso back three for five, two uh, doubles, an RBI, and a run scored. And Med Rosario coming up big and score, uh, batting two, four, three with an RBI. Now Jacob DeGrom is 14 and 10. And wow, what a performance by Jacob DeGrom. I can't believe that. Uh, so what we're going to do next is we're going to be uh, getting ready for the next series against Washington here. Uh, we're going to have Syndergaard, Keuchel, and Waka. Uh, so because I've been playing every third game, uh, or every two days rather, uh, I will be playing this game michael walker versus joe ross in the next episode uh so if you guys enjoyed this episode don't forget don't forget to click the thumbs up leave any comments below uh, if you haven't already please subscribe and click the thumbs up i think i said that already but hope you guys have a great day take it easy and peace